Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about Shirmora's Holiday 2016 collection which is a collaboration with Takashi Murakami and as you can see these are the iconic flowers that he is so famous for because his work is so highly collectible I just wanted to walk you through the products that I have to share with you and I'm going to start with this adorable brush case there are four brushes included in this case and it's pink inside with an extra pouch in case you wanted to include makeup wipes or any other makeup products and additional brushes or sponges. Now although these travel size brushes don't compare to the quality of Shomura's high-end brushes, they're full size pieces, especially my favorites like the 20H, I will say that they're a really good set of brushes for the price, plus it comes with this really useful case. This synthetic brush can be used for eyeshadow, but I actually like to use it for concealer on the face, especially for concealing redness like around the nose and even under the eyes. This little cheek brush brush is perfect for blush or bronzer. I think it works really well for contouring just gently along the nose and the cheeks. And then we have the white powder brush, which is obviously meant for powder. You can use this for loose or powder foundation, which I tend to prefer, especially when I'm filming on camera. On the day-to-day, -day, I actually don't even wear powder unless it's right along the hairline, just to prevent my bangs from getting really greasy throughout the day. Last but not least, we have the lip brush. And actually, I like to use this to smudge out pencil liner. Like today, I'm wearing the pencil liner from this collection in black, and I use the tip of this brush to smudge out the top so that it diffuses the liner look for a little bit more of a sultry effect. Now, this is intended for the lips, and it works really well for building lip color, especially with some of the more translucent lip colors that are in this collection. To match the brush set, we do have this Cosmic Black Curler. I am wearing the Smoky Layers Lash which is a cult classic from Shiomara, as I'm sure many of you know. But I really love this black lash curler. I actually just bought a brand new silver one while I was at the Narita airport during my travels with my girlfriends to Southeast Asia. But the black one feels a little bit different, plus it's a little cleaner. I don't constantly have to wipe mascara off of it, so I highly recommend this one. I actually am going to purchase backups for my friends so that I can give them away as gifts at Christmas, plus these limited edition come with the Shu Murakami pendant. Now let's talk about eyeshadow because it's been a while since I've worn a colorful smoky eye. I'm wearing all three shades from the Blossom Nova Eye Trio and the packaging does carry on the cosmic flower theme. The shades inside this palette though are what really impressed me and I actually don't have the signature palette that comes with the eyes and cheek colors but I think that for this holiday collection this little eyeshadow palette is probably one of my favorites and definitely a lot more affordable than the full eye and lip palette. So the dark purple is what I have all over my lids and when layered on top of the black pencil eyeliner that I diffused out with the brush that I was just talking about, it creates a lot of depth. It looks dark without closing off my eye. Then in the crease I used the shimmery orange which created a lot of depth and mixed with the purple right along the crease it added a bronzy shimmery effect that's so beautiful and very unique and even though it is a colorful palette. It's still super wearable, really easy to pair with other neutrals. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. I think this is probably my number one pick from this entire collection. That's how good it is. And in case you steer clear of warm shades, there is a purple themed trio. I actually really love this one. It is quite cool though, and it comes with a silver glitter instead of a gold one. Now for the eyeliners, these are the drawing pencils, and I have four shades, the metallic navy, the matte purple black, the comet brown, and the matte black. So these actually get creamier and creamier with every time that I try them. This is definitely one of the most long-lasting black pencil liners on the market, but it does seem to have become even creamier over the years. I don't know if they've released a completely new formula or not, but I absolutely love it and I think it works really, really well if you have oily lids. Now my favorite though is actually the comet brown which I 
have on my lower lash line. It's a really, really beautiful terracotta-y brown with shimmer in it, but it doesn't irritate my eyes and it feels so rich and silky when it goes on. Since I keep mentioning the packaging, I just wanted to show you how the eyeliners will come to you if you order them. It's really easy to open. You just pop open the top of the plastic here and then you can really admire the gold foil details, which I think are a nice touch. The matte black purple pencil, however, does come with gold etching on the pencil. And last but not least, we have the lipsticks. I have five here to share with you and I'm going to give you the swatches in a bit, but on my lips, I do have the WN255 shade, which is a really, really natural berry colored wine. There are sparkles in this formula, but they haven't irritated my lips whatsoever and it feels really comfortable, slightly glossy, which dries down to a beautiful satin finish throughout the day without causing my lips to peel. I couldn't resist this opportunity to show you the boxes because the packaging is just so adorable. It makes the perfect gift. You don't even have to wrap them. And there are two variations, one red and one pink. I think both are equally adorable, although the red is a little bit more obvious than the pink. This is the Shimmery Rouge Unlimited that I have on my lips, but I have to say that the Translucent Cherry Red, this is the Rouge Unlimited Shine formula, is still one of my favorites. I don't know, I just think that a red is a classic lip for holiday, but moreover, I just have a weakness for these very cool, slightly sheer and semi-translucent red lipsticks. So these two are my top picks from this collection. This is Rouge Unlimited OR520, but it's actually a lot brighter and a lot peachier on my lips than appears on camera or just in the tube like this. Here it seems like it would be more of a terracotta, but it's actually quite bright on my face. Then we have this shimmery warm red, which I think is perfect if you are scared of wearing a deep red lipstick. It's bright, it's slightly orangey, so it is very flattering against yellow tone complexions like mine. Plus the shimmer in this one will make your lips look nice and plump. Last but not least, we have this pinky bloom lipstick, which I think is super cute. It's a little cool for me because I don't really tend to wear cool pinks, but I do think it pairs really nicely with the lavender toned eyeshadow trio that I showed you earlier. And that's a wrap for my review of Shumara's 2016 holiday collection. So please check out my blog, thereviewer.com, if you guys want to see more close up pictures of the products. And of course, if you have any further questions about this release, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter. Thanks always for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.